Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about the 10 essential bags that every woman should own. Of course, this is only my personal opinion and I also want to take those 10 handbags as a reference in case you are just starting the handbag collection. I also want to announce one thing that I and my YouTube friend Trash, we are planning to do our 10k subscribers giveaway and this giveaway is Dior's car holder. I will link my friend Trash's channel in my description box. Please support us. I also want to thank you everyone's time and the supporting those years. I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So those 10 essentials handbag, whether it's the designer or non-designer, I think that every woman should have it in their wardrobe. So the first one is the shoulder bag. Shoulder bag is one of my favorite handbag. I wear most of my bag on the shoulder bag. And the shoulder bag is very practical and easy to access in and out. The shoulder bag also is a very safe bag. You can keep an eye on your stuff. It's also good for the work bag or weekend bag. However, in here I wanted to mention it. When you choose a shoulder bag, just make sure the shoulder strap is comfortable to wear. It reminds me when we have the Never Fall Demi Abing and their strap is very sharp it will dig into your skin and feel so much painful when you choose the shoulder bag just keep in mind this is a must to be very comfortable to wear for a long period of the time so you need to make sure that you get the comfortable shoulder strap so that's the first one moving on to the next one is the toe bag and the tote bag I think is also very practical bag for everyday use you can use it as a work bag it can fit your laptop and it can fit all your work documents good for the beach and right now the most popular tote bag is from Marc Jacob tote bag and a lot of people already have this bag and I do have this bag in the fabric but I don't have it in the leather version I'm thinking to add the leather version in the future and they come many different colors it's a very affordable bag so I will highly recommend this bag it is very versatile bag as well number three is the crossbody bag. It is the most convenient and casual bag. Crossbody bag also is very versatile. You can use it as a work bag, weekend bag, or as a travel bag. You can leave your hand free. Crossbody is always the best choice for the casual wear. The crossbody bag is another bag that I think every woman should have it. Moving on to the number four is the top handle bag. The top handle bag, generally speaking, is a very formal bag. Of course, you can use it as a everyday bag or work bag, such as Chanel Business Affinity or Chanel Trendy CC. Those two bags you definitely can use as an everyday bag. Uh, Chanel Coco handle, it looks very classic and very elegant, so you can use it as an occasional bag. Uh, it's a very stylish bag and also very formal and look very classic and elegant it will immediately elevate your look whether you wear the casual or you wear formal clothes top handle bag is another versatile bag I highly highly recommend that every woman should have it moving on to the next bag is the bucket bag it has a good capacity it can hold all your essentials it's a very casual bag and a lot Lot of the bucket bag nowadays has the long strap which you can wear as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody so it is a very versatile bag and the bucket bag also easy to access in and out you can wear the bucket bag on your dress up or dress down so it's a very versatile bag so this is the number five we on to the number six is a hobo bag 
The Hoboga bag is another practical bag. What's the Hobo bag? It has the large size and the use by the soft leather, so it can fit a lot. It has the big capacity. You definitely can use it as an everyday. So it's a very casual, but it's also a comfortable bag. However, when you choose the Hobo bag, just make sure the strap is long enough. Well, let me give you the example, like Louis Vuitton graceful. PM or MM bag. This is the hobo bag. However, the strap is a little bit shorter. So some of the people just complain this bag because the shoulder bag is too short and not wear very comfortable. So uh, you just need to choose the one that fit your lifestyle. This is another type of the essential bag. Moving on to the number seven is a backpack. Now backpack is another very useful and practical bag. Now good backpack will have a lot of the pockets and a lot of compartment. It will be easier to organize the things because most of the time we use backpack as a work bag or as a travel bag. So it's easy to locate the things, especially when you go out for the travel, you need to you carry a lot of things like waters, clothes, you know, everything you can dump into the backpack so you don't feel too heavy when you walk long distance. So backpack is another choice and especially for the travel. So definitely you need to have one in your wardrobe. Number eight is the bell bag. Now bell bag is another bag that I think is the most practical bag. Even though I'm not a fan of the bell bag, but I think it's good for travel use for me if I don't want to use it as an everyday. So the bell bag, same thing, it's very safe because it's attached to your body and you can keep an eye on your important stuff like wallets, IDs. So the bell bag is another bag I think we should have. Moving on to the number nine is the clutch. Of course, I think the clutch, you guys know, clutch is for the special special occasion or night out. Uh, I think every woman should have at least one clutch for the special occasions, especially for the holidays, parties, weddings. Don't want to carry the big bag to the parties. So we just want to carry little things. Of course, we don't overload our clutch as well. So the clutch is the one just for the occasional use. This isn't the one that you should have in your wardrobe. Last one but not the least is the wristlet. So the wristlet is a little bit uh, convenient than the clutch because it does has the strap that can wear on your wrist. You leave your hand free but the wristlet also you can use it as a clutch. Wristlet is more like running the errands. You just grab it and go so it's a very convenient. Only put the minimum stuff such as the wallets, keys, cell phone, those things so you don't need carry the whole bag. It's very easy to grab and go bag. Also very convenient. The wristlet is another bag that I think for uh, weekends, for go to the park. So this is another bag that I think every woman should have too. So those are the 10 essential bags that every woman should own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.